Hi friends. Today we will see top 30 Oracle PLSQL interview questions. What is PLSQL? PLSQL is a procedural language that has both interactive SQL and procedural programming language structures such as iteration, conditional, branching. That means friends, uh, the main purpose that we are coming for PLSQL is that to have a procedural language. We have normal SQL language that is structural query language but the difference is like in structural query language we don't have procedural functioning. So when you say PLSQL here we are adding procedural advantage and procedural features to SQL to enhance the capabilities of SQL. So the next question is what is the basic structure of PLSQL? PLSQL uses block structure as its basic structure. Anonymous block or nested blocks can be used in PLSQL. That means friends in PLSQL we have two types of blocks. The normal one is anonymous block and the other one is subprograms. Subprograms will have some other blocks that is called as subprograms is also called as named subprograms. Anonymous block is also called as nested blocks. What are the components of PLSQL block? A set of related declarations and procedural statements is called block. What are the components of PLSQL block? Friends, this, this question is repeating here. Uh, declarative part, executable part and execution part. These are the three types. What are the data types available in PLSQL? Some scalar data types such as number, varchar2, date, care, long, boolean. Some composite data types such as record and table. What are percentage type, percentage row type and what are the advantages of using these two over the data types? Percentage type provide you the data type of a variable or database column to that variable. Percentage row type provides the record type that represents the entire row of a table or view or column selected in the cursor. The disadvantages are need not know about variables data type and the second one is if the database definition of a column in a table changes the data type of a variable changes accordingly. So these two are the advantages of both percentage type and row type. So the next question is what is the difference between row type and type record? So friends in sixth question we have seen what is the row type and what is the percentage type. Now we are going to see difference between these two. So when you say row type it is used to query returns the entire row of a table or view that means row type is to be used whenever query returns the entire row of a table or view whereas type record is to be used whenever query returns column of different table or view and variables. Here I have given one simple example you can see this. Moving on to the next slide the next question is what is PLSQL table? Objects of type table are called as PLSQL tables which are modeled as database tables. PLSQL tables use a primary PLSQL tables can have one column and a primary key. What is cursor? Why cursor is required? Cursor is a named private SQL area from where information can be accessed. That means friends this is a temporary work location created by the oracle whenever you execute some SQL statement this particular temporary area will be created by oracle. So cursors are required to process rows individually for queries returning multiple rows. Explain two types of cursor. Cursors are two types. One is implicit cursor, the next one is implicit cursor. PLSQL uses implicit cursor for queries. User defined cursors are called as explicit cursors. They can be declared and used. What are the PLSQL statements used in cursor processing? So open, fetch, close are the three statements that are majorly used in cursor processing. 
what are the Kazer attributes used in PLSQL? Is open row count found not found? These four are the Kazer attributes. What is a Kazer for loop? Kazer for loop implicitly declares row type as loop index, opens a Kazer, fetches row of values from active set into fields in the records and closes when all the records have been processed. Please have a look at the example. The next question is what will happen after commit statement? So the records will be saved permanently. So here I have given a sample example. You can have a look at it. Explain the usage of where current of class in Kazer. Where current of class in an update delay statement refers to the latest row fetched from a Kazer. What is a database trigger? Name some usage of database triggers. Database trigger is a stored program unit associated with specific database table. Users are editing the database, logging the events of database, enforcing the complex business rules, implement the complex security authentications, maintaining the replicate tables. Is it possible to use transaction control statements such as rollback commit in the database trigger? Why? It is not possible because as triggers are defined for each table, if you use commit of rollback in a trigger, it affects logical transaction processing. What are the two parts of packages? Package declaration and package body. The package declaration can also be called as package specification. <coughs> Sorry friends. What are two virtual tables available during database trigger execution? And the next question is what happens if a, if a procedure that updates a column of a table X is called in a database trigger of the same table? So that time the mutation of the table occurs. Write the order of the precedence of validation of a column in a table. This can be done using the database triggers and also by using the integrity constraints. What is an exception and what are the types of exception? Exception is an abnormal condition that occurs at the runtime. There are two types, one is user defined and other one is predefined. What is a pragma exception in it? Explain the usage. The pragma exception in it tells the compiler to associate an exception with an oracle error. To get an error message of a specific oracle error. For example, pragma exception in it. What is a rise application error? This is the most important question, friends. Rise application error is a procedure of package database DBMS standard package which allows to issue an user defined error message from stored subprogram and database triggers. What are the return values of function SQL code and SQL ERM? SQL code returns the latest code of the error that has occurred. SQL ERM returns the relevant error message of the SQL code. So by using these two, we can identify the error easily and debug it easily. The next one is where the predefined exceptions are stored. In the standard package, procedures, functions, packages what is a store procedure store procedure is a sequence of statements that perform specific function what is the overloading of procedures the same procedure name is repeated with the parameters of different data types and parameters in the different position varying number of parameters is called as overloading of procedures for example dbms output put line Next one, what is the package and what are the advantages of package? Package is a database object that groups logically related procedures and functions. The advantages of package are modularity, easy application design and information. Hiding the information, reusability and better performance are the several advantages of packages. What is the difference between Kazer declaration in a procedure and Kazer declaration in a package specification? A Kazer declaration in a package specification is a global and can be accessed by other procedures or procedures in a package. 
a cursor declared in a procedure is local to be procedure that cannot be accessed by other processors. 